Okay, so I'm just going to do a bit of flambe bananas today. Uh, making a wee caramel butter. I'm um, just garnishing with a wee sugar, sugar cage. So all I've got just now, I've got a wee bit of sugar, uh, water, boiled up to 180 degrees. You can see a bit of caramel colour there. And all I'm doing is letting the sugar uh, cool down a little bit before I start to spread it over the ladle. If the sugar's too warm, um, it will catch the ladle. If it's too cold, it'll set too quickly. Just going to a nice run. Okay, so let's just take my ladle. It's been sprayed with a bit of oil. <coughs> and all we're doing is drizzling the caramel over the ladle. Sugar set straight away, the ladle's quite cold, so the sugar will set straight away. Um, and with the, the spray of oil on the ladle, that will help to dislodge the sugar. The cage will come up quite clean, should do. Just break the edges a little bit. Okay, that should got a nice sugar dome. Okay, so I'll just use that and set that to the side. Well, we'll get a wee frying pan on the go, get a bit of butter in the, the frying pan, um, heat, the, heat the gas up, don't heat it too much, don't heat the pan too much, the butter will start to burn, which you don't want. Now you don't want the banana to be too right, the, or the, the banana will go very soggy overcook so it's not too right. You're cooking the, the, the banana and the sugar and the brandy um, so it can help to soften the banana anyway. <coughs> so heat the frying pan up, put a bit of butter, a bit of sugar. Into the butter let that dissolve. The pan's starting to colour a little, a little bit, it's just the, the butter and sugar are starting to caramelise a wee, a wee bit. So you don't want to take that too far. Add in your banana. That's a bit of brandy. Create a little bit of caramel butter as well, nice bit of sauce to go with the uh, bananas. <coughs> okay, so we'll just set that aside, let that settle a little bit, a little bit. The bananas will keep juicing as well as they're sitting. Um, and I'm just going to finish it with a wee sugar spiral to garnish as well. So I'll just let the sugar cool down again. Now, with the spiral, we're using a steel, okay, a, a knife sharpener. Again, I've sprayed it with a little bit of oil. I'll we'll let the sugar cool down again. Um, we want to be able to touch the sugar now. I stayed very wary. It was 180 degrees at one point. So you're touching it, and it shouldn't stick to your finger. So you can see the sugar slowing down as it's dripping which means it's setting on you, which you're, which you're looking for. Again, don't let it set too much, you won't be able to do your smile. <coughs> okay, so the sugar's the right consistency, it's the right temperature to go around the steel. That sets automatically straight away, straight off the ends. And Steve is going to hold his hand out for me. Like that, like that. Spiral. So, just to finish the dish,